All right, hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here from the ACS team here with my Nexus S4G here to do a review video on the Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0.3 build, the source code build. So it is an official, as I said in my how-to video. I'll link to that in the description of the video. But here we go. So it takes you to the welcome screen. It just booted up after I installed it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And it's asking me to activate my phone. I'm going to activate it, so I would recommend running through this activation process. And once it's done activating, it says phone is activated. It may take 15 minutes for services to start working, whatever. So I'm going to hit next, and it takes me to the sign-ins. I'm not going to sign in, not waste your time, run through the menus really quick. Phone belongs to, I'll add my name real quick. All right, I added my name, so I'm gonna hit next, set up complete, hit finish. So now it should take me to the home screen. As you can see, make yourself at home, hit okay. And there we go. So here is the source code, source build, AOSP source build for Android 4.0.3. Uh, right away, as you can see, it didn't include the, it might not include, I'll go to the wallpapers in a sec, the stock wallpaper, but I'm gonna hit menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and there it is, Android version 4.0.3 right there. Full, full Android on Crespo 4G. So there you have it, awesome. So, very nice. Now, one, I'm gonna go ahead and test out the thing everybody's been wanting to, uh, for a long time. I'm going to go to wireless and networks, hit more, and 4G settings, and turn on 4G. To be honest, I rarely ever get 4G in this spot in my house. So we'll, we will see if it gets it. I, it is confirmed working though. I have a good buddy, John Corleone, he, who always talks about how awesome his 4G is. Um, but otherwise, let's go ahead and it says 4G unknown. My guess is it scans through and it can't find a network, which is why it's not working. So, the, oh, it's turning on initializing, scanning. So you see it's scanning for a 4G network. My guess is it won't find it. Oh wow, it says connecting. Maybe it'll connect. Maybe I'll get lucky. And it disconnected and is rescanning. So no 4G for me. But as you can see, it scanned, it worked. It tried to connect, didn't connect because I have terrible 4G signal here. As I'm sure some of you also do. It also has Android Beam right there. I don't know if it's working or not. I have no way to test it. I'm going to turn it off just in case battery is run because of it. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll try and test it. But I'm going to go to, in my settings, I'm also going to go to security and screen lock. And doesn't look like face and locks there. I believe, uh, what was it? You might have to, I don't remember. How did I get screw face unlock working? There was something needed. I can't remember what it was to get face unlock working. Oh well, I'm wondering if there's just no face unlock, so. Anyways, other than that, you got some nice features. You got the 4G, obviously, you got the overscroll glow. Same looks as the other ice cream sandwich builds, obviously, up in the status bar. You got stock blue clock right there, stock battery icon, stock 3G and signal bars right there. You got a nice transparent, like black, darkish notification bar right there. You can go into the settings menu really quick by pressing that icon right there in the notification bar. It's a little quick feature. I'll also post a link to other tips and tricks videos I do have in the description of this video if you wanted to check those out. But other than that, you got theme dialer, of course. Ice cream sandwich theme dialer. Everything seems to be smooth and snappy. It seems to be probably one of the more faster builds. I'm gonna go to live wallpapers and see if the phase beam isn't. It's not, so you can probably get it from the market. Just search ice cream sandwich wallpapers or ICS wallpapers and get the phase beam one and you should be ready to go. Other than that, I do have videos on removing the Google search bar right there. Everything seems to be great. Let's try and make sure 3G is working. I'm gonna go to the browser and it loaded right up so there you have it you got 3g working browsers going pretty smooth on pinch zoom that's pretty good so pretty pleased with that i'm very excited i'll be running this tonight uh, see how it works you guys obviously your app drawer I, to, right now you don't have a way to root it i'll be doing a separate video on rooting it so and i'll link to that in the description of the video if there becomes a way right now you cannot root this version 
Other than that, you got a, a nice 4G widget right here that has been added. So you can turn on 4G on and off with this widget. So, very awesome. Go back to my widgets. You got obviously all the stock widgets there. So very, there you have it. Other than that, that's just a quick overview of the awesome Android 4.0.3 build from Source on your Nexus S4G. We are getting very close to official um, ice cream sandwich, so I definitely stay tuned for that. I'll be doing videos on that for you guys. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. Be sure to um, give this video a thumbs up as well, and thanks for watching.